Welcome to this tutorial video. The goal of this video is to go over the genitourinary system. Genitourinary involves the parts of the body relating to the reproductive and urinary organs. The kidneys, fallopian tubes, bladder and penis are some of the organs that play a vital role in the genitourinary tract. In this video, we will start on the general examination form review of systems panel. Click on the review of systems panel. The review of systems panel will expand. Click on the genitourinary subpanel. The genitourinary subpanel will expand. The user may click up to any of the three images to open the video capture screen. In this video, we will click on the female reproductive system. Should there be any issues found by the practitioner, it can be indicated on the video capture screen. Click on the close button to return to the genitourinary panel without saving. Next, we will look into the breast section. The breasts are made up of a complex series of nerves, glands and tissues. Did you know that breast cancer is the most common form of cancer and therefore regular checks of the breasts are a necessity to rule out any potential harmful growths of lesions? Click on the breasts button once to indicate that the breasts have been examined. The breasts button will turn green, which is an indication of normal results. Click on the breasts button a second time, which turns the button red. The red is an indication that results have been logged within the button and not within normal range. Click on the desired breast quadrant images to open the video capture screen. Click on the close button to return to the genitourinary panel without saving. Click on the general notes text box, which is a free text field to make any necessary notes. Please note that if the user click on the breast button for a third time, it will deselect the button and collapse all of the information found within the breast section. Next, we will take a look at the cervix section. The cervix is the narrow connection between the vagina and the uterus. Routine inspection of the cervix is important in female health in order to rule out any cervical cancers or dangerous lesions. Click on the cervix button once to indicate that the cervix has been examined. The cervix button will turn green, which is an indication of normal results. Click on the cervix button a second time, which turns the button red. The red is an indication that results have been logged within the button and is not within normal range. Click on the image of the cervix to open the video capture screen. Click on the close button to return to the genito urinary panel without saving. Click on the general notes text box, which is a free text field to make any necessary notes. Please note, once again, that if the user click on the cervix button for a third time, it will deselect the button and collapse all of the information found within the cervix section. Next, we will look into the inspection section. The practitioner will perform an examination on the lower abdominal region by having the patient lying flat on their back. The shape, coloration and various other visual aspects of the lower abdomen are examined for abnormalities. Click on the inspection button once to indicate that an inspection has occurred. Click on the inspection button a second time, which turns the button red. The red is an indication that the findings have been locked within the button and is not within normal range. Click on the general notes text box to make any necessary notes. The general notes field is a free text field. Please note that if the user click on the inspection button for a third time, it will deselect the button and collapse all of the information found within the inspection section. Next, we will take a look at the palpation section. When the patient is in a lying down position, the practitioner will perform a physical examination of the lower abdominal region using their fingertips or for deeper palpation, the palm of the hand can be used. Click on the palpation button once to indicate that the abdominal region has been palpated. The palpation button will turn green, which is an indication of normal findings. Click on the palpation button a second time, which turns the button red. The red is an indication that the findings have been locked within the button and is not within normal range. Click on the general notes text box to make any necessary notes. The general notes field is a free text field. Please note that if the user click on the palpation button for a third time, it will deselect the button and collapse all of the information found within the palpation section. Next, we will look into the percussion section. The practitioner 
will repeatedly tap around the wall of the patient's lower abdominal region, listening to the various pitches of sounds made by the organs underneath. Click on the percussion button once to indicate that percussion was used during the examination. The percussion button will turn green, which is an indication of normal findings. Click on the percussion button a second time, which turns the button red. The red is an indication that findings have been locked within the button and not within normal range. Click on the General Notes text box to make any necessary notes. The General Notes field is a free text field. Please note that if the user click on the percussion button for a third time, it will deselect the button and collapse all of the information found within the percussion section. Lastly, we will take a look at the General Notes section. Any additional notes can be made within the General Notes button. Click on the General Notes button once to turn the button green. The General Notes button will turn green, which is an indication that no changes have been made. Click the General Notes button a second time, which turns the button red. The red is an indication that results have been locked within the button and is not within normal range. Click on the General Notes text box to make any necessary notes. The General Notes field is a free text field. Please note that if the user click on the General Notes button for a third time, it will deselect the button and collapse all of the information found within the General Notes section. Click on the drop-up menu next to save and close for more saving options. An explanation will be given for each option within the drop-up menu. The save button means the user is able to save the changes made to the form without closing the form. The save lines to new macro button allows the user to create a new macro. From here, the user can click on the save and close button to save the general examination form and close the screen to return to the diary screen or click on the close button to exit the clinical case screen and return to the diary screen without saving.